Sorry for the wait, Mr. Flores. I am ready to take you now. Take me? Take me where? Now, now. There's no need to be nervous. Nervous? No. It's just your appearance. It's a little intimidating. Intimidating? Me? But I'm your friend. My name's Manny Calavera. I'm your new travel agent. I don't want a new travel agent. I want to go home. <laughs> you can't go home, Celso. You're dead. But you're not alone. Everybody here is just as dead as you. That's why we call it the land of the dead. Are you ready for your big journey? No. What journey? The four-year journey of the soul. It is quite a big trip. And I can't lie to you, Celso. It could be very, very dangerous. Unless you were to take that money you were buried with and buy a better travel package from us. I mean, wouldn't you rather cross the land of the dead in your own sports car? Maybe try a luxury ocean cruise? Or, if you led a very good life, you may even be eligible for a ticket on the number nine itself. The number nine? That's our top of the line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld, the land of eternal rest, in four minutes instead of four years. But very few people qualify. Let's take a look at your records. Hmm? Hmm. Well, the bad news is the train appears to be just out of your reach, but I still got a couple of tricks up my sleeve here. Mm-hmm. Yeah ha! Yes, that's the ticket. The Excelsior Line. Yes, she's a beauty. That compass in the handle will sure come in handy, too. Oh, you're going to have a great trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You could give me a lift. Oh, I can't leave here until I've worked off a little debt to the powers that be. Community service, eh? Well, I guess there are some folks worse off than me. Oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough. No thanks to dead and no commission low-life cases like yours, Menso. Hey, Manny. The boss told me to tell you not to leave early tonight. He wants to talk to you about something when he gets back from his trip. Tell Don not to worry. I'm not going anywhere. Especially not with clients like that. Where do they get these guys? They don't qualify for anything good, so I can't sell anything good. I can't work off my time, and I'm stuck. Stuck selling walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. I need better clients. I need a real saint. I need a lead on a rich, dead saint. Hmm. ¿Qué es esto? We'll find out pretty soon. Welcome everybody to Grim Fandango, a third-person point-and-click adventure game that this year will actually celebrate its 20th anniversary. And it was about 20 years ago when I last played this game, so I think it's about time I give it another try. Uh, I'm playing the remastered version that came out a couple of years ago. It's been sitting on my Steam account, unplayed, uh, all this time. But uh, recently I received a couple of recommendations to play it on my Christmas giveaway video, and that was all the motivation I needed to give this another try. Now, uh, if you're unfamiliar with Grim Fandango, I want to call it a horror game, but it's not really a horror game. It deals with a lot of horrific, dark and twisted stuff, but in a very comedic way. And that might not be for everyone, but if it is for you, let me know and I might turn this into a series, okay? Anyway, right, so let's control Manny Calavera as he has a look at this tube over here. I think I've, uh, I've got a message or something. And it looks like we've got some context-sensitive icons here, so I guess that's... Look, look at it. So let's look at it. Looks like I got a message. Right, uh, okay, so let's see. Is that pick up? I guess pick up and use. Let, let's pick up the message. It's some sort of special work order. To all agents from office manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads! Thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars! We have a mass poisoning on our hands! Too many dead to assign specific cases, so all clients are first come, first serve! So let's see some hustle out there! Whatever you say, Hiffy. <laughs> so that's right, Manny Calavera is a commission-based travel agent to the recently deceased. What a cool concept. Right, so I'm playing the remastered version of this game, and frankly, I, I don't know what they've changed from the original. It looks like they've updated the textures, they're more high-res. 
Truthfully, I hope they haven't really manipulated the audio too much because that was the highlight from what I remember. So uh, yeah, the voice acting specifically was great. Um, okay. So, I've got another icon down here, and it's my jacket. I guess this is where we see all our items, right? Right, okay, so what's this? My sight. Oh, right. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. Okay, and we can just select it with you, which is a bit of a weird one, but okay. Anything else? What's this? It's some sort of special work order. Oh, the message I just got, okay. And the scythe again. Fair enough, that's it. Um, okay. So, let's see, let's, let's have a look over here, shall we? Ah, the old files, the old clients, the glory days, when people died with dignity, and Domino Hurley didn't exist. Domino Hurley. That does ring a bell, I don't know why. Domino Hurley. Can we pick them up or anything? Not picking that up. No? Wait, are you trying to pick up the filing cabinet? Maybe use it. I don't want to reread the old files. Ah, okay. It'll just make me sad. Anything on the table here? No? Oh, hang on. What's this? What are we looking at here? My computer gives me instant access to our database of deadbeats. Okay, well, can we use it? Yeah, yeah, we can. Here's Celso's file. That walking stick was too good for him. <laughs> All right, okay. So uh, I think we probably do need to leave the office, right, and head over to this uh, this poisoning. Okay, um, over here? Oh, what's this? Is this different? This end cabin is where I hang my cloak. Oh, we might actually want to get that. Nothing in there but my cloak. Eh, I'm gonna let it air out some more. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, what do we got over to the left? Anything? Can't have a sit down or anything. Oh, something's catching his eye. I think I do have to pay attention to where his... his neck and head are pointing. These? The books? My boss is always giving me these motivational sales books. They bought the farm, now sell them the cows. Stuff like that. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, do you want to pick them up? Read them already. No. Oh. Didn't help. Never mind. Never mind. All right, I won't use them then. Okay. Right. Yeah, that does look out of place. What it's is that? A deck of cards. Oh. Okay. I vaguely remember something like that. I guess we need to pick these up. Yes, we do. Better take these cards. It looks like a long day of solitaire for me. Right. <laughs> Oh, so we just walk around with them? Oh, okay, so we've got another icon here. Okay. Apparently I really like that ace. I don't feel like pitching cards right now. Okay. When do you feel like pitching cards? Okay, so that's to uh, put it away. Fair enough, fair enough. Alright, it's it's nice to get acclimatized back to this game. Nothing under the table. Uh, Alright. Those symbols on the floor are reminding me of Baron Witted already. Oh no. Oh, okay. Good to know. That's great, actually. That means I can make the videos as long as I want, because I can pick where I save. Alright, so let's just take this step by step, investigate everything, and uh, and see what's going on, shall we? Let's try this door over here. Domino's door is locked. Probably scared I'll steal one of his files. Right. Not a bad idea, actually. Domino's another travel agent. I think he's like my rival or something. And uh, I noticed that, yeah, if you double click, you can run to wherever you go. So that's pretty cool. All right, so if we can't get in there, let's uh, let's go speak to. Oh, what's her name? Oh, should we go in here? Let's go in here. Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. Ah, uh, okay. Well, let's speak with you then. It's my boss's secretary, Ava. It's my boss's whipping boy, Manny. <laughs> Buenos dias. Manny, why aren't you at the poisoning? Uh, okay, let's play a little bit dumb. What poisoning? What poisoning? The Code 3 Gazpacho poisoning that everybody's at but you! Why do I send out memos if nobody reads them? Oh, well, I, I did read it, but, um... Let's just keep pursuing this line of inquiry. Where was the poisoning again? Just ask your driver for crying out loud, he'll know. Right, the driver! I have a driver! And I think we'll be meeting him pretty soon as well. Um, <laughs> let's just keep going down this. Uh, I forget. Am I supposed to be somewhere right now? Manny, do I have to explain your job to you again? Actually, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. 
Yes? Well, the Manuel Calavera that I know picks up people in the land of the living. Dead people? Preferably. And he brings them here and tries valiantly to sell them the best travel package they qualify for. If he sells them enough premium packages, our hero will be free to leave the land of the dead. Until then, he and I are stuck here, having the same conversation over and over again for eternity. Oh dear. <laughs> and we can just keep talking with her, there's loads more options. Um. Yeah, what's your job like? Well, enough about me. What's your job like? Like babysitting. Except I don't get to watch TV. <laughs> yeah, what, what if we just skip town? What if we just skip town tonight? You and me, baby. Well, thanks for the offer, but we'd never make it out of the city alive. But... In one piece, I mean. I bet I could get you out if I really tried. Oh, Manny, look at you. You're a trapped soul and you don't even know it. <laughs> uh, okay. I guess I gotta go hit the bricks, right? Well... I gotta go hit the bricks. Okay, you show those bricks a lesson. I guess I will, right. Um, okay, so that's where she, you know, put the message in the tube and it obviously came through under the floor to me. Can't go in there, at least not yet. Nothing on the desk. Uh, I guess we want to go to the left then. I think we'll be catching up with her a little bit later. Uh, okay, a couple of photos. Um, Alright, where are we going to go? Straight ahead or to the left? I am going to say... To the left, maybe? They... Oh, it's an elevator door. <laughs> I thought I was going to walk through cobwebs. Ah, uh, right. I think I might want to follow that car. So I think that car's actually going to the poisoning. Oh, where are you? Oh, there you go. Right. Yeah, I don't know if we can do this on foot. Let's try it. Land of the living this way. Can't go through on foot. People uh. have tried, but they never came back. All right. That's a no-go. Well, I think my car is down here somewhere. Oh, what's this? Let's have a look. This is pretty good so far. I think it's holding up. And uh, so far, I don't think it's aged terribly badly. There are lights for wash, rinse, wax, and land of the living, depending on your destination. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, all right, well, back to the, uh, to the other screen, I suppose. I want to say my car's over here somewhere. Oh, oh, should have had a look at the shutter probably, but uh, yeah. Aha, uh -huh, okay, I think it might be one of these. Let's see. Here's what I need. Wheels. Hmm, how do I get them down? I don't suppose I can pick it up. Ooh, I might get hurt if I try to get one down by myself. Yeah, that's right, I'm going to need some help, aren't I? Over there, that little office in the corner, is that right? Let's have a look. Service! Hey, who the? <laughs> oh, sorry, sir. I didn't expect the sales agents usually don't come over to this part of the garage. <laughs> uh, are you a driver? Hey, you a driver? Me? Ha! No, 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 no. I don't ride them. Just wrench them. Fair enough. Well, uh, I'm Manny. I'm Calavera. Manny Calavera. My name's Gladys. I don't get many visitors. Hey! I got a message for a Mr. Calavera. Uh, your driver said that Mr. Hurley said that he could have the rest of the day off. Domino sent my driver home? Yeah, wasn't that nice? Not right now. Looks like I need a new driver. Looks like I need a new driver. Oh, I, uh, I, uh, I would agree with that. <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, I do. Uh... Do you want to be my replacement driver? You want to be my replacement driver? Me? Yeah. Oh, oh no. Sorry. Can't. Rules. <laughs> well, I think we need to persist with this. Um, come on. Come on, Gladys. I need you to be my driver. No, I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm too big. You're not too big. <laughs> the yeah, the cars are just too small. You're not too big. The cars are just too small. Yeah, those dang compact cars. Hey, that gives me an idea. I could alter your car just a bit with just a quick torch job to let out the seams, you know? Uh, I'm not allowed to modify the cars without a work order from upstairs. I could lose my job. A work order, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't torch anything bigger than a cigarette without one of these signed by the boss himself. Hey, that's my line. 
getting people to sign back in a snap. <laughs> yeah, too small. I'm not too big. Everything around here is just too small. There you go. That's, that's definitely the right attitude to take, isn't it? Yes, Glottis, that's right. Okay, I'm remembering a little bit more of this game now. Anyway, yes, we have this work order. Uh, I don't know if I want to do anything with it right now. I probably just need to put it away, right? Um, although, no, let's let's dive back into the, the jacket. Let's see if we can find it. There you go, there it is. I've got to get this work order signed. Which means I've got to go see my boss, which means we're going to need to get into the office, which means we need to speak with Ava. Right, okay, so let's head back there. We've sort of got our objective now. Um, on the way back, though, let's take a look at this shutter. It's locked. Yeah, uh, I figured there's much, to be honest. Um, okay. Down here somewhere? Mm, okay. Uh, yeah, the game's fairly intuitive. Nothing, you know, too helpful, though, honestly. I don't know if, you know, the, uh, the UI has actually changed since the original version, really. I can't remember. It's too long ago. Uh... I guess we could keep going, but let's, let's keep going after we, uh, after we speak with Ava. Hi there. Yes, here we go. If I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, I've got Manny Calavera out here to see you. Didn't I say no interruptions today? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Cal. Maybe tomorrow. That's too late. Oh, yeah, like you're going anywhere. <laughs> True. Uh, don't suppose we can just sneak in, can we? Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. Obviously not. Uh, right. Do I have to bribe you or something? How does this work? Hmm. As this goes through the same thing, I'm pretty sure. Need to get to this poisoning, really. Uh, okay, well, I guess I'll come back to this. I'll hit the bricks. Well, I gotta go hit the bricks. Alright, so... Through these double doors, right? This leads outside? Or well, those double doors might lead outside. Let's see. Oh, okay, we can go down this way. Fair enough. We can go left and right as well. Oh, what's this? What have we got? Let's have a look at this board, shall we? Let's see. Where am I on this? Don Copal, Domino Hurley, Junior Sales Associates. That better not be me. <laughs> uh, it might be, unfortunately. It might be. Uh, okay, what's this over here? There she is, the number nine. One of these days, I'm going to ride her right on out of here. Hmm. I think I'm going to need a better clientele before that. What have we got through here? It's locked. Oh, we'll never know. Uh, fair enough. What's this? Ah, the old head of the department. <laughs> Way before my time. I heard he was a total slave driver. Good stuff. <laughs> Uh, all right. Okay, so we can go straight out, or we can go to the uh, to the left here, or the right, I suppose. All right, no painting or anything. Oh, that's the that's the ship, is it? So that's the second best. Not that I have a choice, but I wonder if I'd be happier working on a ship. Then again, I'm so competitive, I wouldn't be able to relax until I was captain. <laughs> He's just a natural born winner. Who's this guy? Same guy? Now this guy. I don't know who this guy is. I think he just paid for the lobby renovation. <laughs> and what's through here? It's locked. Fair enough. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's not get bogged down by this. We probably need to go outside, I think, and that's through these doors. Right. Okay. This is so weird. The land of the dead is is so very strange. I remember the year they built that. Mostly because it cost so much, we didn't get bonuses that year. <laughs> what have we got here? Is this my car? I don't suppose I can just like commandeer this, can I? <laughs> oh, I sold so many car travel packages when I was first starting out. When did I lose my edge? Well, I mean, it is just sitting there right in front of you. Let's try it. I left my tow truck back in my other suit. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Uh, okay, looks like there's two ways to go, left and right. Um, let's go left. Petrified forest, Ruba Carver. Well, that's a long way away. I'm not 
working on the freight. The petrified forest Rubacava. Not really that far away. But to me, they might as well be on the other side of the world. I shouldn't even be standing here. No, no. I, it's, I'm pretty much certain that we can't actually get there on foot. So uh, let's go back a little bit. And let's go down the other side of the street. <laughs> With all the celebrations. Okay. Uh, yes, okay. Well, let's, let's head over there, shall we? Oh, can we... Oh, hang on. Um, yeah, I suppose let's, let's go down here. The alleyway, okay. And how's this? Uh, probably shouldn't be walking over it, actually. It looks like that might be a, a trap door or something. The, oh, no, there is something up with this, actually. I don't like the way that eye is looking at me. Hmm. Can we do anything with it? Hello? <laughs> Give it a wave. Right. Oh, right. Oh, this this could actually be the shutter over here that I couldn't open. Can we get through this? It's huge. I can't open it. Yeah, that might go straight to the garage. I'm not sure. Um, that. Let's keep going. That might be what I need, actually. Right. Yes, yes. Okay, uh, we, we should be able to climb this, I think. Without even using our legs. Nice. <laughs> Uh, alright. I guess we don't want to go any higher. Right, uh, fair enough. This way? Right. Uh, let's see. Where are we right now? Is this... This actually might be where we need to be. Memo from the desk of Don Copal. Hey! Work orders are assigned by my office and are not exchangeable among salesmen. Swapping, selling, and specially stealing work orders will result in severe disciplinary action. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll keep that in mind. So I think this is actually the office of my boss, and he's not here. What do we got down here? This place is a mess. It is. Let's dig through it. I would love to search Don's oh. office right now, but I'm late for the poisoning. Right. Just thinking about Don's file system gives me a cold chill. There's something... There's something up here. We can't actually get to the door, so we're not going out the, the normal way. We're gonna have to go back out the window, I think. It's it's the computer, isn't it? Yeah, we can use the computer. Use use the computer. It looks like Don's rigged his computer to automatically answer his intercom. That's it. Sly bastard. Okay, so uh, not now, Ava. I'll have to wait. Didn't I say any interruptions today? Yeah, that's what I got. That's what I got. So hang on. Are there more? Uh, oh, that might be it. That yeah, uh, crime saver, just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy. There. I'll just change his auto response here. Ah, oh, cripe saver, just sign it yourself, will you? <laughs> I'm busy. Nice one, Mr. Calavera. Right. Anything in the bin down here? This place is a mess. Are you gonna say the same thing again? I would love to search yeah, Dodd's okay, office okay. right now, but I'm late for the poisoning. I am, I am. Okay, well let's dive back out the window, I suppose. We should probably return to Waver. She might actually get that response now and and sign it for me. Alright, so we're not going that way. Can we keep... Oh, we can keep going to the left. Okay. I <laughs> like that. Even the birds are just skeletons. Uh, okay. I guess that's the same office. Looks like the boss has gone fishing. Yeah, it looks like it. Again, the looks same. Looks like the boss has gone fishing. What's that, though? Aha. Uh -huh. There's nobody in Domino's office. Ah, okay. Well, we've done it once. Let's do it again. Domino locks his window. Oh. Fear of pigeons, probably. <laughs> Even skeletons are afraid of other skeletons. Um, yeah, okay. Anyway, yeah, I, I'm, I'm late for the poisoning. What am I doing? What am I doing? Let's just let's just get out of here and uh, and go down, shall we? Pick it up and use it, I guess. What? Okay. I want it to go down it, honestly. Oh, do we have to click over here? Okay, so what hang on, what's this? Wait, pick pick that up again. Right, hang on. Can we throw Yes, yes! No. Hmm. We might need to use that ladder? I don't know. Maybe we need to go even higher at some point. Uh anyway, yeah, for now, I'm still late for the poisoning. Let's let's go down this side. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to come back to this, I suppose.
Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, can we go to the right anymore? No, that's the end of the alleyway, it looks like. Yeah, back down here. Um, could go join in with the celebrations, I suppose, but there'll be time enough for that. Let's back away and let's go see Ava. So that's right, Manny Calavera is a commission-based travel agent to the recently deceased. What a cool concept. Those symbols on the floor are reminding me of Baron Witted already. Oh no. Try it? I left my tow truck back in my other suit. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> I like that, even the birds are just skeletons.